Hey everyone and welcome back to CEBOX tutorial channel and this is our situation number 24 from CEBOR exam May 2017 for structural engineering and construction. So bago natin siya isolve, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. A 120 kilogram man walks on a 4 meter plank resting on rough surfaces at A and B. Given Coefficient of friction of A is 0.40 and coefficient of friction of B is 0.20. So, ilagay muna natin ang weight. Ah, yes. As you can see here, yung ating ano, smooth surface sa A is naka-incline ng 30 degrees samantalang sa B ay horizontal surface. So, ilagay natin yung weight ng ating ano, uh, man dito. So, 100 kilo, uh, 120 kilogram, no? So, i-convert natin siya into, since Newton to, no? So, convert natin siya ng Newton. So, ang weight is equivalent to 120 kg. Then, i-multiply natin na ang gravitational pull na 9.81 meter per second squared. And, ang kilogram meter per second squared is equivalent to Newton. So, 120 multiplied by 9.81. So, 1177.2 Newton. Hmm. Siguro gawin na lang natin ano, kilo newton para medyo maliit yung mga value. Then sa huli, ilag gawin na lang natin silang ano, uh, newton. Okay? So divide natin ng 1,000 para maging kilo newton. So 1.18 kilo newton. So this is equivalent to 1.18 kilo newton. And then since meron tayong mga coefficient of friction which is mu, makukuha natin yung angle of friction. Diba, ang ating angle of friction is equivalent to tan, uh, ano nga ba tawag dito? Uh, rho kasi is ito eh. Ito, nakalimutan ko na. Okay. P? Ah, yes, 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 P. Okay, so tan P is equivalent to mu. So, ngayon, makukuha natin ang angle of friction at A and angle of friction at B. So, angle of friction at A is equivalent to mu, that is 0.4, no? Or arctan of so, 21.80. Okay? Tagal mabura. Ayaw pa rin mabura. So, 21.80. So, 21.80 degrees. And yung ating P at D is equivalent to arctan of 0.2. 11.31. So, remember, di ba, ang ating ano, uh, P or angle of friction is between the normal force and the resultant force. So, nasaan yun? Unahin natin dito sa ating ano, uh, point B. Ang ating normal force is ito. And, or going to go natin blue. And, ito yung ating normal force. Normal force at B. Then, ito naman ang normal force at A natin. Tapos, since yung ating ano, man is papunta sa B, ina-expect natin na yung ating ano ba to, plank is magmumove ng paganito. Okay? Mula sa A, paganito yung movement niya, then sa B, papunta rito. And remember, sa ating chapter, kung hindi ka nakakamali, ando yata na sa chapter 6 yata, ng statics of rigid body, friction. Ang ating frictional force kasi is against or opposite sa direction or movement ng, ano, ng isang body. So, since mag-move yung ating A ng pag sa saka yung B ng pag ganito, ibig sabihin, ang frictional force natin sa A ay directed papunta rito. Yan. So, this is our frictional force at A. And dito naman, frictional force at B. So, nasaan ngayon ang resultant? Ang resultant ay nasa pagitan ng ano, normal force and frictional force. Nandito. Yan. Ito yung ating reaction at A or resultant at A. And ito naman yung ating reaction at B. Or, uh, resultant force at B. Tapos, yung ating 21.80 ay nasa pagitan ng normal force and normal force A and B. Normal force A and resultant force A. So, this is 21.80 degrees. And this is equivalent to 11.31 degrees. So, kung napapansin nyo, 
Meron tayong tatlong forces dito. Yung 1.18, RA, and RD. So, pwede tayong gumawa ng force triangle. So, for number 1, at what distance C, sorry, sorry, this is, this is X, will the plank start to slide? So, gawin natin yung ating force triangle. So, this is 1.18 kN. Then, ito naman yung ating force RB. Ayan. And ito naman yung ating force RA. Actually, pwede itong mag, ano, magpalit-palit. Pwede ito yung ating force ano, uh, RA. Ito naman yung RB. Ayan. Then, ito naman yung ating 1.8. Pwede rin, kahit ano sa dalawa na yan. Pero, ang critical kasi rito is yung mga angle. Dapat, tama lang yung mga angle na nailalagay natin. So, dito sa RB, ang kanyang angle with respect to vertical axis is 11.31. So, this is 11.31 degrees. Tapos, yung RA natin, ayan, kailangan natin makuha yung angle niya with respect to the vertical axis. And remember, kung ang ating ano, smooth surface at A is 30 degrees, therefore, ang ating NA is 30 degrees with respect to vertical axis. Kaya, ang angle niya with respect to vertical axis is 30 minus 21.8. So, 8.2. So, ito niyan is 8.2 which is opposite din dito. So, this is 8.2 degrees. So, makukuha na rin natin itong angle na to, which is equivalent to 180 minus 11.31 minus 8.2. And this is 160.49. So, 160.49. So, observe natin yung triangle natin. This is not a right triangle. Then, meron tayong given na isang uh, side, tapos may dalawang unknown na side, tapos given naman lahat ng angle sa loob. So, ibig sabihin, pwede tayong gumamit ng sine law. So, sa sine law, yung ating 1.18, ang partner niya is yung opposite angle sa kanya, which is yung 160.49. So, therefore, 1.18 over sine of 160.49 degrees, which is also equivalent to RB, over sine of opposite sa kanya na angle is 8.2 and then yung ating RA over opposite sa kanya na angle is 11 or, or, or sorry sorry L, uh, sine of 11.31 degrees kaya makukuha na natin yung RB and RA so 1.18 over sine of 160.49 Multiplied by sine of A na lang. Then, for, eight, uh, for RB, 8.2. So, 0.504 kN. And then, sa RA, 11.31. 0.693 kN. Ayan. So, makukuha na natin yung X. Pwede tayong mag moment at A or pwede rin naman tayong mag moment at B. So, siguro mas madali. Hmm. Siguro mag moment lang tayo sa A. So, kung X to, ibig sabihin ang distance ng ating 1.18 kN is 4 minus X. Tapos, yung RB natin, kailangan natin ma-resolve into NB and FB. So, dito na natin ilagay. Ang NB natin is cosine, no? 0.504 cosine of, anong angle niya? 11.31. So, 0.494 kN. And then, yung ating frictional force is equivalent to yan. frictional force is sine. So, hindi naman kailangan ng ano. Ang frictional force kasi mag-zero lang naman siya dun sa A. Pag nag-moment. Anyway, lagay na rin natin. So, 0 0.099. So, 0 
Kailan nyo ito? So, mag na tayo sa A. Sa mission of moment at A is equivalent to zero. Clockwise is positive. Okay? So, NB na lang ang iikot, no? So, counterclockwise. NB na 0.494 multiplied by 4 meters. Tapos yung 1.18 clockwise. So, 1.18 multiplied by 4 minus X is equivalent to 0. So, masasolve na natin yung X. Negative 0.494 multiplied by 4 plus 1.18 multiplied by 4 minus X is equivalent to 0. So, 2.325 meters from point B. So, nakuha natin yung tama sa ba. Okay? Next, um, siguro nabibig na tayo sa space na <laughs> nagatang niya dito. Tapos ito, yan. Dito na lang. Or, tanggalin na lang din natin yung ano, ano yung FB. Yan. Okay. Next, for number 2, what is the frictional force N at A? So, since meron na tayong RA, makukuha na natin yung NA ngayon. Hindi ba? So, for number 2, na lang, N. Um, ilan ba? Okay, ito. Meron tayong angle dito na 21.18, no? So, this is, ano, uh, adjacent sa NA. Ibig sabihin, ang NA natin is equivalent to RA cosine of 21.80 degrees. Normal force, ah, sorry, sorry. Frictional force pa lang pinapakuha, no? Frictional force, okay, in Newton pala. Akala ko N is normal, sorry. So, FA. Then, in bis na cosine, it is sine. Ayan. So, makukuha natin ngayon yung FA. So, RA is 0.693 sine of 21.80. Then, i-multiply natin ng 1,000 para maging Newton. So, 257.36. So, malapit siya sa 256.72. 257.36. Newton. So, siguro ano lang to Matter of uh, decimal. Siguro yung angle of friction natin dito, dapat pirat ng decimal natin, mga ganun. So, okay lang. Kasi yung process naman ng pag-solve nito is siyang siya. Next, yung vertical force N at B. So, kung vertical force, ibig sabihin ang pinapaanap is yung ating uh, normal force NB. Nakuha na natin yun actually ito. Diba yung 494? So, i-multiply natin ito ng 1,000. Therefore, ang ating normal force NB is equivalent to 494 4 newton. 493 newton. Kung nakalimutan nyo yung concept ng friction, pwede nyo siyang balikan at panoorin sa aming playlist. Dito sa playlist namin sa ano, sa statics of rigid bodies. Ayan. Then, punta kayo sa ano, chapter 5 pala siya. Ayan. Chapter 5, friction. Then, kapag napuntahan nyo yan, meron kami itong introduction kung ano ang concept ng friction, kung paano nga ba natin siya i-locate and kung paano yung mga direction ng frictional force natin and kung ano ang relationship ng ating normal force and friction and then isa pa ayan, meron kami mga problems problem 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ayan, so meron kami 5 problems sa frictional force and dagdag pa pala natin sa equation natin diba? ang ating ano um, tan P is equivalent to mu pwede rin naman kasi ano ang ating frictional force ito Ang ating frictional force is equivalent to mu multiplied by the normal force. So, check natin ha. Uh, kunwari, dito, ayan, sa, ano, sa FA, no? Kung gusto natin makuha yung ating normal force A, ang gagawin lang natin is yung ating frictional force at A is i-divide natin ng mu. So, mu natin is 21.80, no? Ay, sorry. Ang mu natin is 0.4. So, 257.36 divided by 0.4. So, ito yung ating normal force. So, 643.4. So, 643.4 Newton. Or, kung dito naman sa ating ano, uh, normal force and the resultant, pwede rin naman natin makuha ang ating NA by multiplying RA 
with a cosine of 21.80. So, dapat parehas lang ang makukuha natin sa sagot na 643.4 or malapit dyan. So, ilan ba ang ating RA? 693, no? So, 693 Newton multiplied by cosine of 21.80. So, 643.44. So, kahit ano sa dalawa na ano, concept ang gamitin nyo, para sa lang din yung makukuha ninyong uh, mga sagot. Okay? Ayan. So, this is our situation number 24 from CE Board Exam, May 2017. And if you enjoyed and learned from this video, kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye!